I played Ghost of Tsushima for 60 minutes. Was that enough, or did it blow me away? Ghost of Tsushima is a large-scale open-world game where you can choose to either stealth your way through environments or honorably face off against enemies. Or should I say, theoretically, because in the first hour, that's not what's on tap. The game opens with a truly jaw-dropping set piece that seamlessly combines gameplay and storytelling. As I started charging down the embankment, I was thrilled to have agency in the battle, but was quickly deflated when I discovered that this epic set piece is essentially just on rails. I was scolded right away when I attempted to move faster than the game wanted me to. In fact, nearly the entire first hour was like this. Everything has to be done by the book, and if you figure out what to do before the game wants you to do it, you just have to wait. Also, for as cinematic as the game is, the camera system in tight quarters can be very distracting. But will I stick with it? Surprisingly, yes. At the end of my playtime, the world finally opened up, and my jaw hit the floor. You know what to do.